Hello guys, today we're going to cover the twisted case of John Nadveit, a Swedish black metal musician, a raging satanist and a convicted murderer. This video is not for the faint hearted, so with that said, let's get into it. John Nadveit was born on June 28, 1975 in Stromstad, Sweden. As a youngster, he was always interested in music, particularly metal. And in 1988, he formed his brainchild, that was the band Dissection. A band that pioneered the genre of melodic black metal by combining the gritty genre of black metal with haunting and gloomy guitar melodies. They got pretty popular in their native Sweden as well as in Scandinavia in general, with albums like The Somber Lane and Storm of the Lights Bane. But sadly music wasn't the only thing that kept John going. At that time he also started to get heavily involved in the MLO, the misanthropic Luciferian order, and trust me, it is as messed up as it sounds. You see, the MLO believed that the only way that the world can function correctly is by total and absolute chaos. They also believed that the true Satanist has to reject every part of modern society and make his own reality. Surely we all know how dangerous that kind of mindset can get. And oh boy, it got pretty dangerous. It was the warm night of July 21st, 1997, when a 22 year old John Nadveit was out drinking in various bars and pubs in Gothenburg with his friend, a 20 year old Vlad, an Iranian immigrant and the founder of the MLO, along with some other friends. When they were done drinking, their friends decided to call it a night and headed back home. But John and Vlad had other plans in mind. They decided to continue drinking and roam the Gothenburg city center when they passed the gay area. A man in his mid-thirties approached them and by their clothes asked them if they were satanists and wanted to know if they could talk to him about their cult. That man was a 38-year-old Algerian immigrant called Joseph Ben Medoub. They at first tried to push him off, but eventually gave in and the tree started walking. Judging by his speech and movements, John and Vlad figured out that Madur was gay and felt super offended and disgusted. They stopped in Nidvate's apartment and John entered to grab a taser and a gun. The trio then headed out to the Kaler's Park to continue their discussion about Satanism and the MLO. When they arrived at the park, Vlad took the taser from Nidveit and tried to immobilize Madur. His attempt failed and Joseph ran away, to which Vlad took the pistol and shot him in the back. Oh, but he wasn't done yet. When Madur was on the ground, Vlad came closer and shot him in the head, execution style. Mind you, this was all John's part of the story, who was the first one to confess to the crime. Eventually Vlad came forward and told his part. That was almost exactly the same, except for one crucial detail. In his account, it was John who pulled the trigger twice. They both were arrested and tried. Vlad for one count of murder and John one count for accessory to murder. Now I couldn't find almost any information on Vlad post the prison time, but we know that John Nidveit was released sometime in 2004. Upon his release from prison, he quickly restarted his band Dissection, with a whole new lineup of members for one final album. In 2006, 
Dissection's final album, Rain Chaos, was released to the public. The album got mixed reviews, given that John abandoned the genre he helped pioneer for a more melodic death metal kind of sound. The songs were filled with satanic themes taken from the MLO Bible Liber Azerate. Then on August 13th, 2006, John Nedved was found in his apartment in Hesselby, Sweden, with a self-inflicted gunshot to the head, inside a circle of lit candles. Early reports say that he was found with a copy of the Satanic Bible by Anton LaVey, but that the rumor was disproven by his bandmate Seth Tatan, who explained that John despised LaVey and his Church of Satan, and instead died with a copy of Liber Azerate by his side. Everything pointed out to a ritualistic suicide. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on the next one.